Peter said, Lord, it is good for us to be here. I just feel like that this evening. Like it is good to be here. I don't know what Peter had in mind, but I had in mind. It's good to be here. And uh, we are trusting and praying that we will be able to say something uh, just to just cause us to think and reflect back upon the things that we have read about, we have talked about, we uh, have longed to see. And of course, I believe that as we were uh, discussing all of the things leading up to this point here, all of the kings that have come through the valley and gone on, all was leading up to this particular time that we're talking about now. Mm -hmm. uh, when we had uh, one of the greatest things, or the greatest thing that ever happened to mankind. Uh, my subject in, uh, that has been assigned to me is uh, Nazareth, what happened here? Uh, Nazareth, what happened here? Well, uh, one of the greatest, or the greatest thing that ever happened to mankind. Uh, happened here in that uh, we had the announcement yeah. of the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. And of course, uh, mankind had been looking for this for, for many years, from the time that Adam and Eve sinned in the garden up until this particular time. They were looking for the coming of this uh, particular. Uh, and listen to him as he talked uh, to this young girl here. And uh, as he talked uh, in uh, uh, Luke, the first chapter, uh, the book says, uh, uh, in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel uh, was sent from God unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth. And of course, can you see him now? Can you see him being dispatched? Listen, by God, listen, uh, down to this particular place here. Yeah. A place where if that nothing good was supposed to come out. Yeah. And I'm so glad that the Lord chose a place like this. Yeah. I can identify with right. I don't know about you, but I can identify yeah. right. Nothing good was supposed to come out of these mountains, these hills, and everything, but, but God saw fit yeah. uh, to dispatch this angel. I imagine that he uh, perhaps uh, rode over King Herod Palace, uh, but he didn't stop there. <laughs> and I imagine that he rolled around over uh, some of the other palaces there, yeah. uh, but he didn't stop there. Uh, but, uh, uh, but he had a mission. Yes. Had a mission. Yes. And now we find that he find this young lady here, and uh, as he began to talk with her, he came to a virgin, espoused to a man whose name was Joseph, of the house of David, the virgin name was Mary. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the angel came unto her and said, Hail, thou art highly favored, uh, the Lord is with thee. Isn't that wonderful? The Lord is with thee. The Lord is with thee. And the blessed of God uh, among women. Uh -huh. uh, the angel uh, talking now to Mary. And when uh, she saw him, uh, she was troubled at his sin uh -huh. and cast in her mind uh -huh. what manner of salutation uh, this should be. She began to ask questions. I'm quite sure, ladies, you understand. I would understand. You're getting ready to get married and have this angel coming to you talking and she don't quite understand what's going on. And of course, uh, the angel said unto her, Fear not, fear not, uh, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. Isn't that wonderful? She has found favor uh, with God. She was just living the life. She was just going about her daily business, just living a godly life. And one thing I like about it, she was a virgin. She was a young virgin. And the Lord said, you found favor uh, in the eyes of the Lord. And behold, thou shalt conceive. I didn't understand. And of course, uh, the angel answered and said unto her, the Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, 
and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also that holy thing yes, which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. Yes. Mm -hmm. And behold, thy cousin Elizabeth, she has also conceived a son in her own age, and this is the sixth month with her, and who was called barren. For with God nothing shall be impossible. Amen. And Mary said, Behold, the handmaiden of the Lord, be it unto me according to thy word. And the angel departed from her. Mm -hmm. Jesus didn't shave their heads and etc. Mm -hmm. The Bible tells us in John 19, 19, uh, even Pilate himself wrote a title and put it on the cross, saying, Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews. Mm -hmm. He preached in Nazareth. What happened in Nazareth? He preached here in Nazareth. After being gone some time, he decided that he would come back into Nazareth. All right. And he preached. Yes, sir. But do you not realize that the Bible tells us that he was rejected mm -hmm. by his very own people mm -hmm. as he came back to this particular place <laughs> to preach to them. The Bible says in Luke 4, 16, and he came to Nazareth where he had been brought up and as the custom was, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day, and he stood up to read. Yeah. And of course, and to them a prophet is not without honor, save in his own country, in his own house. All right. He did not many mighty works, the scripture says, because of their unbelief. Mm -hmm. But if you will, for just a few moments, since this is Jesus' home and where he was raised up at, mm -hmm. As I was riding through the streets there, I just got excited. Mm -hmm. And I saw the little kids in the streets and the mothers with them and the fathers no doubt with them. And I just reflected back upon Jesus just walking the streets there with his mother and father. I could just visualize Jesus uh, around in the streets there as, I, as we climbed those mountains. Mm -hmm. And if you will, just go back with me, just, 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 just look on the blackboard of your mind, and I want you to think about this. Jesus was read here in Nazareth. You see, this is the home of his pen. And of course, we find that Jesus being raised up here, we don't know too much about his boyhood. We know that at 12 years old, he accomplished his mother and father up to uh, up to Jerusalem, up to the city where he uh, they had to go for the taxes, or to the city where they had to do the taxes. And of course, he went there. And when they was leaving, coming back, uh, we know the story how that uh, uh, he was left there uh, and uh, found uh, there with the doctors and the lawyers asking and answering questions. But between 12 and 30 years old, the scripture doesn't say too much about Jesus as to what happened during his boyhood. But we do know that he was read here in this town and in this city. So since he was read here in this town and this city here, you know, I believe that from studying his words and thinking about the parables that he made and, and, uh, and the teaching that he did, we can get somewhat of the glimpse of his boyhood, what it must have been like as we climbed the mountain and coming through the valleys there and seeing the farmers and seeing the teaching and the training that we give our children. You see, Jesus was brought up in a place uh, that was despised, a place that uh, uh, that was hated. Uh, uh, the, the Jews, uh, uh, many didn't really look too good upon this particular place because it was setting too close to the Gentiles. And of course, uh, you know, uh, and anything that touched the Gentiles, you know, was supposed to be uh, clean. And of course, uh, the Romans didn't look too good upon this place because they were the conquered people and everything. So they were just here. And but you know, God saw fit to do the greatest thing or make the greatest announcements that have ever been made 
to mankind to make it right here. And I believe that he did it for a purpose. He had Jesus to be read up here, I believe, for a purpose. Had he been born in the king's palace or had he been born read up in the king's palace and everything, some of us may not be able to identify with him. But the fact that he was read up in a obscure place such as this, then of course, many of us that otherwise perhaps could not have identified with him, can identify with him. Amen. Jesus of Nazareth, the announcement of his birth happened right here in this place. Mm -hmm. He was read up here in this place. And many great things happened here in this place. The beginning. When he left this place, he went out to change the course of this world. But his training was right here. And I want to say this, this is the point that I want to make.